First question is from Sarah Haney. I love following strong female role models like Lori Christine King, who has worked to get her caloric maintenance up to around 2,500 calories while maintaining a lean physique. Is this a realistic number that most active females should be able to consume, or are people like her an anomaly? I, I picked this question. First of all, shout out to LCK. We love her. Oh, she's, she's amazing. The she best. Is. She's yeah. one of the best ones she out there. She is. She's phenomenal. She's and She puts out incredible content. Um, and I, I picked this because, well, one, it was liked by a lot of people. So there was a lot of people that had this exact same question. Mm -hmm. And this was kind of a number that I, it was a generic number. It's very generic because there's definitely an individual variance for sure. But that was most clients I could get, most female clients, regardless of their size, and so that I could get up above to, to about 2,500 or above. And that would be a good, and, and what I have found for most of my female clients, this is a good amount of food, right? Now, some people might say that 1,800 or 2,000 is plenty of food for them. Well, this is, the, of course, this is where the variance is, right? Or some people have crazy appetites and they want 3,000 calories. So that's where, here's where the individual variance comes in. But I always thought that 2,500 was a, a pretty good place for me to get most of my clients because it gave me plenty of room to- Yeah, because then you go down to 2,000 to cut. That's right. right. That's where mm -hmm. typically you'll go. That's right. You know, it's a hard question to answer because it's so different uh, from person yeah. to person. I think it is a, a decent target, but like, here's the deal. Um, 2,500 calories sounds good. It might be too much in the sense that you might be like, I don't want to eat this much food. Yeah. Um, also, it might not make you feel good. It's so different from person to person, but I will say this. If you're healthy, you're sleeping good, you have good hormonal health, and you're doing proper strength or resistance training where you're building muscle, you will burn way more calories than if those things are not there. You will have a metabolism that burns more calories. Well, and this is what makes or would make uh, Lori look kind of like an anomaly because she's strong. And she build and she yeah. strength trains. And, and you know what she she builds muscle. And you know she came from a place yeah. where her metabolism was wrecked. Right, it was really slow. That's right. So you can do the same thing too. But if you're if you're comparing yourself where you're currently at, and you don't strength train and build muscle like she's built muscle, um, then yeah, it's going to be very hard for you to compare your fifteen hundred to eighteen hundred calories to her twenty five hundred. And it may take you a while to get there to put on the muscle mass that she has over the last That year. part's mm -hmm. important, by the way, is that you got to be patient sometimes. Yeah. I've worked with clients- Guarantee that, she didn't get to 2,500 overnight. No. Mm -hmm. And I've worked with clients where they did so many rounds of extreme restriction and lots and lots of cardio, and they really trained their metabolisms to get really slow. Mm -hmm. It took us a year uh, to, get the, to get them to really make an impact with their metabolic rate. So- you're going to be patient. Now, why would you want to be patient? Well, what a good place to be, right? At the end of, of doing all this, now you're in this position where you're eating more than you did before and you're leaner. Right. And that's much more sustainable, right? I mean, that's the point really is, is to, to, to achieve that, to even have that as a goal is a great mindset to be in. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's really why we're trying to promote that more that you can you can achieve that. You can achieve a, a level where you're, you feel like you're eating quite a substantial amount, but you're still in a really lean place.